Like to, the, the, right, problem being. Scott's just on, don't worry. <laughs> he is. He's doing my documentary today. So this is good, it makes it look like I do something. I'm Aidan, I'm the operations manager at Stories and I have worked for the company for four and a half years. Okay, I'll have a look anyway. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, once a Val on his. So that'll be another one for this week. I think we're up to 13. I was Ian and Alex's first employee, so it was a bit of a, a risk on both sides. <laughs> um, I think we were mid lockdown, so it was bit of an unusual time anyway. So I joined them as their first employee and my job was to come on board initially part-time to do admin, PA, some marketing bits for Ian, soon went to a full-time job. So I think Ian realised that they needed a bit more help. As I've been at the company for that time now, my job role's changed and grown, grew arms and legs over the years, as has the business. I also noticed in small print on my job description that is uh, DIY. Here's some I made earlier. I hope you're getting this brown camera's caught because I'm glad everyone's just sat there watching me. <laughs> Put that on me, see me. <laughs> day to day, it could be, yeah, it could be looking after the team initially. I'll have appointments in the morning, emails, checking with Holly and Creative. It just varies so much, but that's what I love about it. So Vic's out on a shoot at the moment, so we've got a completion. Um, further down the road in Tarpley. So we're going to head there and do the key handover. So Michelle has given us the call, our sales progressor, to say that the solicitors have completed. So uh, what happens now is we go and meet the buyers over at the property. Um, we'll do meter readings, give them the keys, get the lights on, and we've got a completion box that we hand over to them as well. From that, we usually try and get a nice little photograph of the buyers, the family, outside the house. It's, I think, a photo opportunity that's missed in the busyness of moving in so it's always a nice little touch for us to send that over to them um but yeah we'll go and meet them and see if we can get on the driveway of all these removals i think ian's always known and he known what he wanted to achieve and that there was basically a gap in the market to do what we do at stories so ever ever since day one our marketing has always been better than others and over the years I've got a team of people that can do all these things we have just gone to the next level but there's so much more that we can do yeah it's nice it it breaks up the day but it's obviously again we we're talking about a a to b earlier it's the the end result of finishing something so um although this might be the final chapter of them having the keys to their new home it's almost the buyers start of their next journey with stories which is quite nice so um it definitely breaks up my day by doing this which i know vic would usually head out to do um, but we all chip in between us being part of a, an independent company, it, I just love that we can we have free reign on certain tasks and ideas. So if we have something we want to create, we don't have to go for a board of directors, managers. We go straight to the top to Ian and Alex, and almost to the point now where they trust us enough to trial something, and if it doesn't work, we'll fix it. So for me, having that freedom, creative freedom, and just generally seeing projects through to completion is uh, yeah, a job satisfaction for me, as well as the team that we work with. Ian. <laughs> Always worth going into the holidays in the story, Gile. Saw two future clients, got asked who won the pumpkin competition and saw Red to, and got a £100 giveaway voucher. <laughs> I was like, that's brand awareness right there. In terms of properties, Newhall Farm is a top of the list for me to be instructed on that property. To sell it, to help the sellers and the buyers was insane. It's always been a property that I've driven past and it stood out. So to be able to create this amazing marketing that we do and to be involved with a journey of a, a feature home that you've always wanted to see and then actually be in it, in the field, driving around, creating all this marketing, it was, yeah, that was quite a memorable, memorable moment for me. From here, we still stay in touch with the buyers. So um, one thing that we do is we have a WhatsApp group with them anyway. So we will now have a, a process again of regularly keeping in touch, um, whether that's just popping around to give them some advice. At some point, we'll ask for a review request um, and then just generally check in, see how they're getting on in their new home. Ian and Alex were regulars where I used to work, so I didn't really know them, but I knew of them. They used to come in every Tuesday. They'd always come in after the kids' school run and do some work from there. So I, I knew of them, but they never knew what they did. And then this job came up and I just linked, all the, linked it all together. It was like the, the missing puzzle piece.
I think the biggest thing about working with a team that have got stories is near to nine of us full-time, several part-time viewing specialists. Everyone's just got each other's backs and we all buzz off each other. So one person has an idea and we all have comments, input on the back of that. We can then all split off and focus on our roles, but one of our core values is bold and daring marketing. And I think that's one thing we massively stand by. So we do charge more than other agents and is a premium to, to some people. Um, but what we do is we do give that back in other ways. So the, the service that we give at Stories is next to none. The client communications, there's examples of when we arrive for photo shoots, we've got a full team that rock up. There could be three, four, five of us. Vicky's been there for an hour. So the level of service that we give and the marketing materials that we produce um, is insane. One thing that we will always get extra miles. So there's been times where an elderly client's been ill and they're by themselves. Vicky's called them. She's gone and got some shopping for them, dropped it off at the door. There's, you know, well, it's the little things like that, but that really does add to your job satisfaction and why we do what we do. And I guess where stories is where we are today. I think I'm just generally organised. Yeah, um, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> um,